While fire crews work to contain the Moser fire, experts right here in the borderland are warning the community about fire dangers. El Paso has been experiencing rising temperatures and strong winds, conditions that can lead to disaster. With hot temperatures, low humidity levels, and high winds, it is easy for the smallest spark to catch, burning something like dry grass or brush, those flames spreading fast and difficult to contain. The National Weather Service says the conditions are only going to get worse as we transition from spring into summer. And with a heat wave going through our own area right now, El Paso County currently sits just one level below the high, highest intensity of drought on the scale. Paso area is currently in a D3 or an extreme drought right now. And as far as the summer forecast, unfortunately, it's looking a lot like last year. <laughs> um, it's looking um, above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation chances. Data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has reported more than 12,000 wildfires between the months of January to April, burning more than 1.8 million acres.